Hi and welcome to Elements channel. Today we're going to learn about infographic. Infographic, what exactly it is and what my poster should be containing about it. So infographic is a graphical representation of information and data. These are facts that are presented in an easy, interesting and participatory format. It is a visual representation of facts and patterns. Where exactly do we use it? So the usage is to provide information in an easy way because we like to see all the interesting visual aspects that are in front of us, to present facts in a visual and interactive way, to make comparisons between two or more cases. Suppose you want to gauge what is better or which product you want to buy is better. So this can help you to compare and choose the best one. To indicate information within a timeline, and to indicate patterns, processes, and trends. Different types of infographics are comparison, hierarchical, statistics, timelines, in order of time and succession, example first to last, informative, that is information is produced, and processes. So what do we require for a poster? We will require a visual representation of facts, events, and numbers. So there's an immense research that one has to conduct. It must be in a pattern. Information can be represented by graphs, timelines, and patterns. Do research and present the correct data. Objective users make their own inferences and conclusions. You will use reports, articles, information, etc. The size, color, and very important is logical clarity. We will dive deep into this, that how vital it is. Do not give too much of information. Sometimes it might happen to bore a reader. It should be easy to read and understand. So we don't need to include an excessive of vocabulary, which is of high end. A basic one as well will do. And finally, we have to identify a target audience for your poster. So who is your audience or who are your audience and whom are you trying to make this infographic for? So there are seven types of infographics. So as we can see here, we have list, comparison, flowchart, visual article, map, timeline, and data visualization. Any of the one form or combination of all these types can be used for infographics. So let's begin with our own making of infographic. So first you're going to choose your topic. All right. So just brainstorm, you can pause here for a minute or 30 seconds and brainstorm your topic. So what my poster should apparently have is decide on what you want to achieve. That is your topic that you have chosen. Study your genre and assignment and build up your infographic poster around it. Find information that specifically fits the assignment. So here is my example. I would like to focus on overfishing, which is a recent, very good topic to be taken care of or one should apparently think of. Therefore, overfishing happens when fish are caught faster than they can replenish. Apparently, what is happening is there is a reduction of fishes or reduction in number of fishes is because we are not allowing them to grow or reproduce. So it is one of the challenge that we are facing and I would like to spread the awareness that how we can work on by do fish, yes, generally, but how we can limit it and let the sources replenish. So first and foremost, my information is please try to include the pictures. Increase in algae which takes too much oxygen from the water and blocks sunlight. Decrease in fish due to overfishing causes. You can write like decrease in spe species that eat fish and those that eat them as it is harder for them to find their prey. Overall decrease in biodiversity. So this is how the information as here it is told that decide on what you want to achieve my genre and information. So this was my step one. Let's go to the next step, which says, find information that specifically fits the assignment. Decide in which way you want to present it, example, graph, timeline, etc. 
Decide on your poster or which website you are going to use and you can use software applications programs to help you. So these are furthermore enlightenment. Let's go further now. So I've actually got a proper graph which is talking about percentage of fish stocks which are overfished. Okay. So fish provides the main protein source for more than 35% of the world's population. Fisheries contribute 57 million jobs around the world. Overfishing is made worse by bycatch accidentally catching other animals in fishing gear. Illegal fishing and trading harmful fishing gear such as bottom trawlers, gill nets and long lines. So this is how you can dive a little bit more deep into the information and my next step is completed. Further, overfishing is made worse by bycatch as we saw that. In continuation, I will say one third of all shark rays and chimeras are now at risk of extinction because of overfishing. So I have got a small chart here that is of the Australian species. So in specific, you can also choose any country that you want and we can have a rubric made in order to give a good information to the reader and to latch them or hook the reader apparently like we say. So that's why I have blue swimmer crab, silver trivals, Spanish mackerel, western king prawn. So how in 2016 and 2018 it was a bit better but by 2020 it has again depleted. So how beautifully they have made the whole chart where this chart reflects the population of the fishes. Finally, this is how my poster will look like and it has got my topic. What happens or what is the definition of the overfishing? Then I have begun with understanding of the flow chart where in my flow chart, what is it that is causing it? One of the reason then how it is also endangering the species. Then I have got my data, which is my statistics. Apparently, why it is good? What is fish doing for us? Then I have spoken about a con. First, it was a positive, then a pro, that is, which was a pro. And then a con, which is uh, not negative, but what is apparently happening. Then how it is en endangering or giving us extinction of the species. And finally, my rubric, which will help you to understand that how beautifully we are supposed to take care and the numbers can be raised. Thank you. I hope it helped.